everyone, I'm Rod Wortham and welcome to this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We had another busy week of racing with nine drivers seeing action, so let's get right to the results. Jesse Love was at Iowa Speedway for the Arkham Menard Series and Arkham East Series combined Shore Lunch 150. Jesse qualified ninth in his Mobile One Toyota Camry. Jesse was fighting in ever-changing track conditions and just couldn't get the car right, resulting in a seventh place finish. Up next for Jesse, back to Arkham Menard Series West at Colorado National Speedway on July 31st. Joey East was also at Iowa Speedway for the Arca Racing Series Combined Shore Lunch 150. Joey had a great qualifying run of third, but his day ended early on lap 26 when the number 54 Ag Solutions Network, David Gilliland Racing DGR4 got loose and ended up in the turn four wall. Joey sets fifth in the each championship points, heading into the next East race at the Milwaukee Mile on August the 29th. But up next for Joey, Arca Menards West at Colorado National Speedway this Saturday. Caden Honeycutt returned to Larry King Law's Langley Speedway for round two of the Virginia Triple Crown with a mission to repeat his dominant performance at the track in June where he led every lap in route to his Cars Tour victory. Caden qualified ninth and raced his way up to third by lap 165. Caden was involved in a green-white checker restart with junior motorsports driver Josh Berry and brought home a third place finish. Great job, young Texan driver. Up next for Caden, Cars Tour throwback race at Hickory Motor Speedway on July 31st. Bryce Bizanson was at Evergreen Speedway for the Summer Showdown that showcased some of the top super late model drivers from the West Coast. Bryce qualified 18th in the 30 car field. Bryce finished 9th in his heat race and started the 200 lap feature in 15th and finished in 13th. This was the first race of the year where he finished outside the top 10, where he has four top fives and seven top 10 finishes in nine starts. Up next for Bryce, Northwest Super Late Model Series at South Sound Speedway on August 7th. Jake Bowman qualified fifth and finished fifth in his pro truck debut at Five Flags Speedway in the number 138 Kurt Britt Motorsports Chevrolet. Up next for Jake, INEX Summer Shootout at Charlotte Motor Speedway on July 26th and 27th, then he moves to Lanier Speedway for the Summer Series on July 28th and 29th. Hudson Bolger returned to Lanier Speedway for round two of the Summer Series in the INEX Young Lions division. Hudson was fifth quickest in practice and then qualified 11th as the team attempted to keep up with changing track conditions. Hudson ran a clean race in the A main, bringing home a 12th place finish. Up next for Hudson, back to Lanier Speedway, Summer Series for rounds three and four on July 28th and 29th. Cole Denton was at Lanier Speedway for round two of the Summer Series and made the most of it by qualifying on the pole and bringing home a second place finish in the A main. Up next for Cole, back to Lanier Speedway Summer Series on July 28th and 29th. Then he's going to go down to Chris Motorsports Park on July 31st. Carter Whalen was at North Carolina Quarter Midget Association for pre-region competition on Saturday. On Saturday, he qualified all three cars in third, then finished seventh in heavy Honda, seventh in heavy World Formula, and second in heavy 160. In round two, he finished sixth in the World Formula, fourth in heavy Honda, and fifth in 160. The team learned a lot for the return back to North Carolina in two weeks for the Dixie Shootout regions. Landon Cox was also at North Carolina Quarter Midget Association for dual races on Saturday. The young six-year-old from Monroe, Georgia spun out in qualifying, had to start last in both doubleheader mains. In race one, he finished sixth. The team made some adjustments and he finished third in the second A main. Up next for Landon, back to the Dixie Shootout Regionals at North Carolina QMA on August the 7th. 
Other drivers seeing action this weekend include Joel Valento, who will return to the Cars Tour at Hickory Motor Speedway and the famous throwback race on July 31st. Brody Moore will be at Madera Speedway on July 31st for round six of the Junior Late Model Series. Well, that's it for this week's Race Face Driver Updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Make sure to check out the Speed Zone Race Store for the latest in apparel. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. We'll be back next week with more from your Race Face drivers. So go out there, have a great race week. I'm Rod Wortham. Thanks for watching. Thank you.